Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 12 of Let's Play Anarchy Online. So we are back, and I think today uh, we're going to try to visit Temple of Three Winds, but before we go there, uh, I think we should first buff ourselves here. And I think it might be time for us to get a new set of implants uh, for our MA. Let's see how that goes here. Ugh, I keep going right. Why would anyone put implants straight ahead? Like the a troll. Okay, so let's see. M A M A M A M A M A M A. Here it is. So probably Q L what fifty maybe today. Yeah, Q L fifty should be good. I mean, if you work hard enough, you can get buffed up into like a higher Q L. Uh, one twenty six. Uh, the base is one fourteen. So I'll just go one fifty. Um, I don't want to really go through all the buffing and stuff today. But uh, if you really want to tweak, you could actually get into higher ones, of course. 75 ones, maybe even higher if you really try. But I think we'll be good with uh, this today. There you go. So that costs 343,000. So that shows you how much money we are eating up. I'm going to have to look for, because I mean, I get donations, which are great. And I will use them, of course, the uh, credit donations over time. Um, but I also want to find ways and show you guys of ways how to earn money because you can't just expect somebody's just going to drop you, you know, a thousand credits all the time. Uh, I'm using the Dovin here. It says somewhere when I open the UI. Let me find somewhere. P maybe? Oh, I remember seeing it somewhere and it tells you everywhere. Um, maybe I won't be telling you today. I swear it used to tell me at the bottom of the interface somewhere. Let me just Google it for you. Dove, uh, Nautium. There you go. I'm using this. Okay. Uh, so, we got the implants. Let's uh, take out our old ones and we'll put them in a bag and uh, we'll throw them away. Not really throw them away, but we'll. Rename this, uh, Implants, Implants MA Level 30. And that way we know what level they are. And then, uh, I wish I bought the implants after. I should have probably taken them out first. Let's click on here and start removing the implants. So we started with the eye, right? Yeah. So there you go. I feel like I derped up. Aha, I did derp up. Damn it. I was like, something doesn't add up here. And that, you would be right. No problem, friend. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. So we'll have these so we can give them away, or for some reason, if we decide to make uh, a level 30, we might end up making uh, other characters later on, even an MA again, for tweak reasons. So we could also use it for there. Depends what comes first, really. Um, but then we can just throw this into the bank. In our nice sorted bank, which I like. And there you go. Boom. I wish I bought the right bags there. That one accident. We'll go back to the small ones, because they all have the same size. It was just for weight back in the day. Uh, there must be bags around here. Containers, here we go. So yeah, medium, look at that. I was paying ridiculous amounts for that. I'm not that rich. Okay, so let's put these ones in. Uh, our treatment. Oh, my treatment's not high enough. <laughs> 242, let's see. Um, I have uh, the, the set. You remember the uh, twinking set? That's what that's for now. But I don't want to use that right now. Uh, plus, I don't need to. I can just up this. You have the IP for it. There you go. Boom, 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 boom. We're not tweaking, so it's not like you need a treatment. But that that gives you an idea. Like later on, you might need the uh, med suit we were given, and it'll become it'll definitely come in use uh, handy later on. That's why I call it tweaking, because it'll give you. I think it's like eighty or something treatment. It was a little more than that. I don't know. It was a good amount though. Ah, that's true. 
Winter was just saying they, they're useful on any tune, really, just because of the base modifier, so. Uh, okay. Oh, forgot an eyeball. <laughs> and we just double check, make sure we got all the implant slots filled. Yeah, we do. And if we really want to, oh, the uh, living, oh yeah, living armor levels up with you. Unfortunately, the newcomer uh, armor does not level uh, while it's on you, uh, like the living armor. So you have to take them out and upgrade them over time. So there you go. Oops. So if you want to keep updated, make sure you take out your armor and go clicky frenzy. Hopefully, they will eventually fix this up, so you don't need to do this. So yeah, the last time we uh, went into, we, we decided to visit this Shadowlands just for a while, because we were at level 25 and we wanted to go to the Temple of Three Winds, but you could go right at 25, by the way. Um, I just And you can stay in the subway till I think, level 35. So for you guys who want to know, like, if you're total Froob and didn't want to go to the Shadowlands, what I would have done was stay in the subway, past level past 30 plus, because uh, you can stay in there, and then you could be in level 35 in there. And then you can kick ass on that boss. And you got vendors there, you got bags, things like that. But if you die, of course, you would have gotten kicked out. But uh, if you were smart, you could stay there and keep leveling past uh, 25 and then kick the boss's butt. So keep that in mind. That's a good way of actual leveling there. Hey, Fist, how's it going? Uh, so, Temple Three Winds. I haven't done this for, well, I haven't played... AO for a very long time period, but as far as I know, uh, to get to Temple of Three Winds, you need to go to ICC now, and I think there's a thing there that you do it. I uh, used to do it somewhere, wasn't it over, maybe it was over here, there's a way. Actually, maybe that was the different way, I don't know. I remember doing it in Omni, and there was a few places. Oh, look at, people are heading here again. Look at them all. Yay! I wonder if they're going to do another uh, grid stream thing here. <laughs> Hello and bye. But back in the day, you used to go, I think there was a way to do it over here somewhere, but that's not the case anymore. Whoa, what's this? Oh, multi boxer. Multi boxer detected. And his million uh, engineer bots. But that's back... Oh, it says wait for new arrivals. New arrivals used to actually come through that way. That's where you would start if you came in as a neutral. But that's not the case anymore. So. Work our way over here. And... Um, go to ICC. And oh, a few people here. Which way am I going? This way. I get always mixed around here. Look at this guy's afro. Damn. So I don't know where to go from here. I think somebody, I, like when I read, and I only read like a whole two seconds of it, something about headquarters. Oh, this kind of reminds me of where they would hide the thing, but they probably isn't over here. I think it was like towards the headquarters of some sort, but I'm gonna check this place over anyways. I feel like if they hid them behind these cargo containers, it would have been a good spot just because I think that's where they were hidden, at least in uh, the Omni area. Omni blue or green or something like that, or red or probably blue, I don't know. Green I think might have been the middle strip or something. That's way too long ago. Those memories are like 10 plus years ago. But there was a headquarters of some sort. So that's hollow deck, and this is new arrivals, and this is shopping. None of these spill out what I'm looking for. Oh, you know what we can do? It's inside one of the shacks. Okay. One thing we should do. That's good. I, I forgot about that. Don't forget the A quest bot. We can type in help. And we can go and click here. Uh, what's next? Click. 
ICC, or sorry, not ICC, uh, Temple of Three Winds, T-O-T-W, and then you can click, boom, this guy, and there you go. It'll take you exactly to the person. Oh, it looks like it's right here, the shack. Ah, uh, it looks like it's the shack. <laughs> That's funny. This is this is pretty uh, pretty. I want to click this thing. Is this the portal now? What do we go? Give him like ten k or something? What the? What the frick? He wants a Bronto burger and a uh, Maddie's credit card. <laughs> uh, how ch times have changed. Now, have we seen a Bronto burger around here? I feel like ICC bans Bronto Burgers around here. It's probably like unhealthy for you. So now we're on the search for a Bronto Burger and there's Maddie's credit card. Apparently the it'll be enough uh, EXP to level me too, so that'll be cool. Whoa, look at all the people over here. Whoa, what's with all the people? <laughs> Good opportunity to advertise. Maybe Bronto Burger will show up on the map here. Oh, I see Maddie's something here. There we go. Maddie's something right here. So we're going towards that. Is that in phase thing? Is it in here or is it out of here? I think it might be inside, but let's check on the side here. Weapons. Ah, here it is. Here's Maddie. Hello, Maddie. So, do you have a credit card or something? Uh. There you go. Nice. Okay, so we just have a Bronto burger. So that's that's where maps come in handy. And I just want to let you guys know the map I'm using once again, you have to go to the little info icon and go select maps and I'm using the Savix map for Rubica, which is also updated by the devs, I believe, they're also keeping it updated. Or actually, I think he updates it, and the devs push it to the actual thing. So, and here's Bronto Burger. That's why I couldn't find it because Bronto, this thing has a, a low LOD, whatever. So when you get far away, it just vanishes. Actually, LOD is like multiple. What the? What the? What the? What the? What the? The food provider does not offer any Bronto Burger stuff. Oh. Here we go. So we're getting a burger from him. <laughs> Three. There we go. We got the burger. What the heck? Why, why won't they let me talk to her to buy burgers? This is a bug. 
We can't even go to Bronto Burger and interact with the vendor? Fun come, what have you done? What have you done? Oh, somebody uh, got to level 220. Grats. You gotta make sure you message them so they feel good about it. Okay, so we did everything. Uh, maybe we should go back to... Over here, I think? No. Yes. But yeah, when you see that pink text, you have to always message the person and congratulate them. It's a big deal getting to 220. Uh, I have your Bronto burger, etc., etc. Here you go. This is funny, though, how we had to get this stuff from. And there we go, we dinged. Thank you so much. Goodbye. And assuming now we can just click this. Boom! You're supposed to say, boom, headshot. And there we go. So this is the three wins. Um, there's another one. I forget what level it is. But uh, it's like a high-level version. It's a cool place as well. Less popular, though. But uh, it's through this portal. Um, and you have a, you have a basically this... Uh, when you farm the robes, I think the robes themselves turn into a key. And then, actually, I think she turns the robes into the key, right? I don't know if that's the case anymore, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Then pass me your robe, friend, and I shall... Okay, yeah. So if you give her the robe, she'll turn it into a key. But the key, I think, is like a one-time key. So you can actually farm robes and sell keys to other players. Not for a lot, but people will pay a bit for it. So, Ooh, level 59. Let's just back the hell out of there. Okay, so before we go in there, let's go to abilities. And we'll max this up because that's how we do it. And we'll get body up there, we'll get the evades up, and then we'll get the brawling up, and we'll get martial arts up. See how we're losing almost all our points? We couldn't even, yeah, like we used almost all our points just for the basic stuff. This is why maybe you'll stop putting stuff in nano pool or maybe even some, in, uh, some certain attributes over time. Now, I think over time you'll be able to max all the basic stuff like that we've been doing in the end, but uh, it does get a little taxing over time. But it gets to a point where you hit the tier tap cap or the, the title cap. And then uh, certain ones that you've already put points in uh, won't require it anymore. But here we go. So here is Temple of Three Winds. Everything aggro's you here. Just keep that in mind. Oh, let's go aggro something else. Oh, look at the naked guy. So you want to definitely check all the loots now. Because this is when you might actually find yourselves some something nice. You might find yourself a robe. Oh, and we're looking for martial art books if people still do that. There's, I think, two of them in here. Uh, Tree of Life or something like that, I think, was sort of the more important one. Hey, it's shop smart person. I think I've met them in the subway before. Here we go. This guy always used to drop a, a robe about that look. There we go. There we go, and there it is. So it's not a special robe, but it's uh, it gives you, uh, you know, resist snare and root by 1%, which is nice, and it gives you 80 to all your AC, so that's, that's not bad. And we finally uh, put the bag to rest. But you can still wear this bag, I think, as a social, right? Yeah. So, And it can still have the, the same ability of opening and closing it, too. So that's kind of cool. Oh, and it goes with the robe. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I never got a thank you back from gratzing that person. I guess I wasn't good enough for them. <laughs> There you go. Oh, for fun, last night I got this credit sign. Um, oh, yeah, the rings. Brongs of three. Look at that. 
Now, I don't know what's even better. I have this one, the max NCU and health, melee damage too. Oh, never mind. These are better. I think I had rings from before. Yeah, look at that, melee damage. This one added two energy, so let's put it on this one here. There you go. And uh, I don't think that ring is worth anything at all. I'll probably just drop it on the ground. Oh, and I probably shouldn't be using these weapons anymore. I think we're past. Somebody calculated it for me, and I'm pretty sure... Oh, yeah, 293 MA. I'm pretty sure we're way past these, so... Oh, they drop health stims here now. Oh, and here's one of the books. They're different looking. Okay, so we're going to take these off because I'm pretty sure we're not supposed to be using these anymore. They, they offered better crit, apparently, originally, but once you get to a certain level... Uh, they sadly do not offer uh, as much, so there we go. They are retired now, so we should actually kill them a little faster, maybe. Oh yeah, wasn't there a guy that used to stand here, like a bit of a small boss? Maybe not. I feel like there was something here. Either my, the client, like they fixed this issue, or... My computer is just really, like, overpowered. Back in the day when you used to walk through those doors, you would always lag. Like, you would have this really nasty lag. But it seems to be gone now. There's one. I guess we can use our perk heal. That's the nice thing about the perk heal. It's just a free heal. Don't have to use any nano points. You just use it to slowly top yourself up over time. And if we get this book eventually, it does the same, similar idea. Oh, and I moved my, uh, I've added a second uh, chat bar here. Uh, these are overlaying a little too much. I should fix that. Visually, mode, normal. I need to fix this one up. There you go. Just a little bit maybe, like all the way here. Uh, visually, mode, oop, visually, mode, borderless. There you go, it's a bit better. So, oh, and this one's doing it too. Visually, mode, normal. And then, there you go. Visually, mode, borderless. There you go. Visually, mode, normal. This one needs to be adjusted slightly down. Visually, mode, borderless. There you go. Ah, we got a bit of a gap now. Oh, well. So, that will uh, let us do our thing. Use hot fists here. Hot fist fury. They don't use as much um, nano either. I think they fixed that. Back in the day, using those fists I used to use like half of my nano. I swear. It's always annoying. Oh, apparently that one we can't fight. So let's fight this guy. How much EXP are we getting? 1600. Not bad, not bad. Oh, we got another book. So this is the other type. Uh, Ape Fist, yeah. So this one is book six, and this is book one. I think there's, I forget, I think there's like five or four in that one, and then six, of course, in the other one. With a couple books being super rare. Let's put it this way, if you're planning to level very fast, you might not bother with the book. If you're planning to play like I am and kind of do the content and stuff over time and try to show as much as possible and just take your time, you will definitely want to collect the, uh, the tree book here. Tree of Enlightenment. At least you did back in the day. I have no clue these days, but it was a it was pretty a big deal back then. Yeah, Anarchy Online. At least back in like the early days, the vanilla days, even uh, it was one of those games that you would regret. If you um, 
were to miss certain loot in certain places because it would be so valuable even to the end game point. But uh, that's not really the case anymore because um, most of that is like different types of gear now and it's not like level locked or whatever at the high levels from what I understand. But it was pretty bad. Oh, this is another bugged one. They're all bugged in the wall. There you go. Maybe this guy's here. He's got like an implant or something here. I think it's for like nanotechnicians though. Oh yeah, here he is. I can't click him. There you go. Go, go, go before somebody takes him. Now you have to watch it because some players, not always, it doesn't look like somebody's going to do it today, but some players will try to kill steal from you because in this game, it's who does the most damage, not who uh, who tags the mob first, I think. So people will come. Not always, but they will come sometimes and kind of take over your kill. It's nice to see the temple quite busy. It wasn't busy outside. Back in the day, it was really busy outside, but uh, it looks like people are coming in and going, so it's kind of nice. Hey, how's it going? Nice. I was never lucky to get division. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, they have these phase blades too. They're one hit and edge, so maybe like adventures or something. Oh, and here's the Nottingham splice. So this is like for nanotechnicians. I think it might even say nanotechnicians. No? No. But I think it was mainly nanotechnicians would use this. Max nano, nano resist. Uh, I guess it could be used for other things too. And then you got these things here. Which, once again, you could have that as an enforcer or enforcer. Enforcer. Are they called enforcers in this game? I guess so. Enforcer selected. Why am I thinking something else all of a sudden? Oh, nice. For how long? Like, how many days? I should make some episodes on it. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Is one of the guys in here? Nope. Probably not with all these guys in here. Maybe somebody left books around. Oh, can't loot those yet. And then there's some scary guys over here. This gets a little hard. Probably too hard for us. There's a guy who's usually up here. And, uh... I think he might drop a cloak or something. But uh, he has other stuff he drops too. Shift click the Nottingham Spice. What was I supposed to click? Oh, I guess it doesn't go back to there. So yeah, there's usually a guy in here and there was a guy on top of that hill. And then there's guys at the very end, which I definitely could not solo. Uh, somebody else might have actually killed him and left something there, but I'm sure they'll have looted the memories. He has these memory things that you can get. At that point, what you have to do is be a tweaked level 60, or you have to be um, find somebody to help you. Somebody wanted me to click this. Oh yeah, here you go. Shift click. Oh, nanotechnician. There you go. So it's only a nanotechnician. But uh, yeah, I think that will round up this episode for you guys. I will keep exploring and going through here. We will definitely go and take another uh, look through here probably for the next episode. I don't see any reason why not. Um, we'll just we'll just keep, basically I'm just going to go through here, grind, loot things, mainly work on the books, some rings, maybe better robes, and then we'll take another tour when I'm higher level, probably level 60. We'll be like slightly tweaked up for maybe soloing some content here. Oh, one of the books I already have, sadly.
And don't get yourself killed accidentally uh, by aggroing everything in here. <laughs> But uh, anyways, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you wonderful people next time. <laughs>